Hi everyone, today I thought I'd do a guinea pig vlog and I will also feature some clips of Jasper too. So I know I've already done like a daily guinea pig routine but I thought this was different because I wanted to show you what they get up to in the day rather than what I do for them in the day. So I will show some really cute clips of them and just basically what they do and yeah I'll also show some clips of Jasper if he comes round so yeah. So I thought I'd just show you what they're up to now. So Bramley is in his giant nest and he loves his nest and I think that's really cute because they're really natural to have like little hay nests and he loves to snuggle down into his, it's like a little duvet for him. So yeah, he's always hiding but it's lovely to see him in his little nest and he's like, he always keeps really warm in there. But he's up here, he's sleeping at the minute and his nest is slightly different, he doesn't choose to like burrow into it, he chooses to like sit on top of it, which is fine, but obviously it won't keep him as warm as Bramley's, so yeah, he's just sleeping there. Oh, they've also had kale this morning, um, curly kale, they adore that, so yeah, I'd recommend feeding your guinea pigs that, because it's like such a favourite with ours, so yeah, it's likely that your guinea pigs will love it too. Um, Ruby and Oreo just eating the hay out the hay rack. This is a dust free hay, they've been having this other hay which isn't branded, it's just like a regular hay from a horse supplier but they actually have been eating the like the one from the horse supplier more than they've been eating this which is interesting but it's probably because it's nice and cosy in there to eat but like they have to come out here and I mean it's not cold in here but they'd probably rather be all snuggled up and eating so yeah they've been eating the other stuff a bit more. So yeah, this is just Ruby. And I'll be here. I think Rolo and Millie are in here. They always adore the dark and they just love to stay in there all day. So don't see them much, but they do occasionally pop out. So I'll probably try and get them on a clip later on so yeah that's just what they're up to this morning I've also put a little blanket up here for Pudsey because it's getting really cold at the minute and I don't want him to get cold up there he loves this little lookout point and as you can see it's far away from the girls it's not like he can sniff noses with them or anything but he can get a bit of a view of them and just like have something else to do during the day and he loves to sit up here and just like have a little nosy, it's like a little TV for him, he just loves it. So yeah, I'll just put a blanket up here for him and hopefully that'll keep him warm when he's up there. Um, on my last guinea pig cage tour I actually had a um, shelf up here but only these two were using it and I don't think it was fair because there was this whole massive space up here and only them two were using it and they would only use it like to get away from the others so I thought it was just better to make it more like... Um, the word more suitable for the four of them so what I've done is I've kept this shelf here which is a good size and it just like fills the whole of that area made of CNC grids <coughs> and they've got a lot of space under there too and then here they have their little nesting box which is great for the winter and I'm sure in the summer I'll like get some shelf up again like because it'll obviously be too warm but at the minute it's a little bit chilly in here so they've just got this wooden nesting box and I fill it with hay and that's their favourite thing to do apart from the fact that they pee in it which is really really annoying so yeah but they do love that little house. I've also added a little Heidi um, bendy log sticks thing for Bramley because he didn't really have as much things as the others, so I put that in there. So now they've all got one of these in their runs. So I'll just go and see if I can find Jasper. Jasper! Jasper! There he is, he's in the bush. Hello, hello darling, hey good boy, you okay, yeah, good boy, he's so sweet, 
Oh, he just fell off the deck. <laughs> Bless him. You all right, kitty? Yeah. Oh, look at that cute little belly. Oh, so cute. <laughs> he just grabbed me. He playing. I think he wants to go inside. Do you want to go inside? Do you want to go inside? No, you want to roll around outside and play. He's only really just been let out recently, so it's quite a new thing to him, but he's getting used to it and he loves it. And he was shattered yesterday. He slept all night in my bed and he was like sleeping on my shoulder, which was interesting, but it was so cute. So, yeah. Good boy. He always jumps up here as soon as I come in the kitchen. It's so funny. He likes to roll around on his shelf and grab my hand. <laughs> He's so cute! He always loves to scratch this as well. He kind of uses it as a scratching mat. It's just like a hessian bag. But he always loves to scratch it and play on it. Aren't you a good boy? He knows it too. He thinks I'm feeding him now. No, you can't have any more. I'm sorry. I also keep the guinea pig's weights down here. So this is just for Pudsy when he was unwell. And that's like we were monitoring his weight. So yeah, he's definitely gone back up now. So yeah. We do have quite heavy guinea pigs. As you can see, Bramley is 1,500 grams, which is... Probably about right for a male, a fully grown male, <laughs> he's watching me. Um, but yeah, I think that's a healthy weight. Pudsy's used to be like 1,500, but um, he lost a lot of weight. He went to 1,300, but now he's gone back up to 1,400. So it's important to keep track of these. I only do them once a week because that's all that's necessary. But like, if you have an unwell guinea pig, you can do it every day if you feel that's necessary. So yeah, this was the latest one we've done. So. Yeah, um, our lightest is Millie, she's only 1,000 grams and our heaviest is 1,500, so quite a big difference there. But Millie's like the one who, um, she's always like last to get her food and she, she's not really that fussed on food, so yeah. What you doing Jess? Aww. Bye. He's gone back to bed now. I think for a cat he barely sleeps enough because I think cats are meant to get about 20 hours of sleep a day but he definitely doesn't do that because he's a very active cat and yeah but he does tend to sleep at night but sometimes he'll sleep in the day. Depends if we've shut him out or not so yeah. But I think he likes either. He probably prefers to be outside because he just like loves to chase things and get up to a bit of mischief, so yeah. So I wanted to ask you guys if you think there's anything I can improve about my channel. So I'm always looking for new ways to improve it and to try and please everyone. I just kind of want to know like how often you want me to upload videos. Currently I'm doing it every Saturday but if you wanted that to change like to a different day or whether you wanted me to upload more often or less often you could just say that down below in the comments and I'd love to like read your comments on like how you think I could improve it so yeah and if there's like any new like ideas or requests you have then I'd love to hear about those because I am kind of struggling for ideas at the minute and I love making videos but I never really know what you want to see so it'd be great if you could like request more frequently and then just let me know what sort of videos you'd like to see and then I will try my best to make them. 
Also, if you know any great pet channel names, please let me know about them because I'm really struggling to find um, new people to subscribe to at the minute and I'm not like really picky at who I subscribe to, I just like, as long as they're taking like good care of the pets and it's like pet related because I love watching pet videos and finding new pet channels so if you know anyone that um, deserves a mention or like you think I'll enjoy their channel or something then please just let me know down below and if I haven't already subscribed to them I'll like check out their channel and possibly subscribe so that'd be great if you could tell me about some channels that you really like down below. Someone on my Instagram wanted to see a lap time with the piggies video so I thought I'd include that in the vlog. So I've got Ruby here and she's purring like crazy, she's so cute. She's just on this really thick fleecy blanket which I'm probably not supposed to put the guinea pigs on but they love it too much not to put them on so yeah. She's all snuggled down there. Her favourite place to sit is always on my lap. Some of the pigs like to um, sleep kind of on my stomach but Ruby likes to cuddle into my lap as you can hear. She's lovely. And she was my first guinea pig. I think that cuddling your pigs is a great way to bond with them and also to check for any problems because if you cuddle in them you'll notice if they have any like unusual like signs for example like they could have a lump on their body or like runny nose like watery eyes that sort of thing so it's important to cuddle them at least once a week so yeah just love cuddles as well so it's just great for them and they love snuggling down into warm blankets. Yes you do, yes you do. Next I've got Oreo. Um, she really struggles to sit still sometimes but I think she's quite relaxed today so yeah. She's purring too. I don't know if you can see but she's got this little white blob there, so cute. She loves being tickled under her chin. Now I've got Rolo. As you can see Rolo's got loads of like little ginger patches. I think he's got some white as well, it's quite hard to tell but He's got a really shiny coat, he's in really good condition. And he also has these like little flicks behind his ears, it's so cute, he's got like little flicks of fur. And another ginger patch. Aww. He hasn't moved since last time I've seen him. Aww. Oh he's so warm, he's so cute. Look at that. How can you not love cats? <laughs> so cute. Not really sure where to stroke him now. Oh, big stretch. Big stretch. <laughs> cats look so funny without ears. <laughs> Don't think I'd be too happy with the camera in this face. 